this lesson we're going to add a carousel so click on the new add-on and go over to the carousel and you have the option here do you want this to auto play do you want it to show controllers do you want it to uh, to show arrows what alignment do you want it left center or right so let's open each one here you can add an image to each one so I'm gonna grab this image for this so one of them I'm gonna put an image and then the other one I'm not gonna put an image for it just to show you uh, the difference between those so with, with each one you can you can choose the button for it you can choose the font style uh, just like I've showed you before you can choose the the button icon let's click on apply and take a look at this on the front end so you see what it looks like so now you have the carousel let's edit this okay so you have you have you see the two arrows here so if you want to go to the next one you click on next so I'm going to edit this so that we have the background for both of them you can change the color for this as well too so let's go back to the first one here and we are going to change make sure that we upload the background for the second one you can choose different backgrounds as well so let's choose the lighter space in and you can change the alignment uh, let's choose the image for this one so we're using the same image uh, let's click on apply let's work on this text a little so we want to make the text colors we want to make them white and apply so now the text colors are white, but you, you can see the the image here. You really can't see anything. So uh, you can change this here from pictures or to just have a background. So let's see what it looks like with just the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this and we're going to go over to the styles. So here you have this beautiful carousel that you can incorporate. And if you don't want to add any words, you want it to have just the pictures that are sliding. I'm going to go down here and just delete the text. So we're going to delete the text for that one and delete the text for this one. And if you wanted to duplicate this a few more times, let's just copy those a few more times and then click apply. So now this one has the button here because we put the button and the titles in there. But you can take that off. Uh, but you see it's, you know, real beautiful, nice, and clean. So it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of how you want your content to be presented, whether it's through an image or you want to have just, uh, just an image like this. So now we're going to go back here and we're going to take the images off. So there you have you have you have both text and an image. You can choose to keep both, or you can go just with the text or just with the image. If you want to, if you want to use just the image, then you delete the text. If you want to use the text, then you delete the image.